Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is gearing up for our next feature update, which as I posted on yesterday, they had announced um, at their Surface event earlier this week that the next feature update for Windows 11, starting next week, uh, the 26th, so that's next week, Tuesday, um, that will be a release and an update to version 22H2, not to version 23H2. Now, I'll leave that video down below because it will give you a whole, a whole lot more info. But just to let you know that Microsoft now has rolled out KB5030310 to the insiders in the release preview channel where our next um, optional bug fix update that I did post on a week ago um, which was being tested in the release preview channel the same update now is rolling out once again and this is going to bring some new features to version 22H2 um, as part of the features rolling out with that next optional bug fix update next week so once again this update is in its final testing uh, before Microsoft pushes it out soon to the stable channel and uh, the stable release of version 22H build uh, the build is currently on 2261.2283 and when that next optional bug fix update rolls out the build will be bumped up to 2261.2361 or somewhere in that vicinity now um, as mentioned Microsoft is beginning to roll out some of the new features that they did announce at their Surface event earlier this week which uh, the big one here is going to be the new Copilot, which is bringing the centralized AR uh, assistance to the desktop. And I'm not going to get into too much about the feature. I've posted quite in depth on Copilot over the last day or so. So go just check that out on the channel if you'd like more info. And then over and above uh, Copilot, they're also going to be rolling out a more modern file explorer, which is going to bring a couple of uh, key changes to the file explorer. And as I have posted on, um, the modernized file explorer will get a new home. Uh, the address bar and search are going to be reconfigured. And there's also going to be a new gallery feature, a gallery feature that's designed to make it easier for you to access your photo collection right from the new modernized uh, file explorer. And that's just some of the features. I have posted more in depth on these previously. Uh, but just to give you a heads up with this recent update in the re in the release preview channel and then over and above that there's also a new text authoring experiences to voice access and new natural voices in narrator and the windows backup app which is also rolling out to windows 11 which microsoft says will make moving to a new windows 11 pc easier and this means that with windows backup um it will transition most files, apps, and settings from one PC to another, which will be seamless. So everything is right there where you left off and left it if you are changing to a new PC and have your um, your settings and so on backed up with the new Windows Backup um, app. So those are a couple of the new features rolling out. Copilot, a modernized file explorer, those new text authoring experiences uh, for the natural voices in narrator, and the Windows Backup app. And we are expecting to see those start rolling out next week on the 26th with this recent update now in its final testing. Now, as I've mentioned previously, if you have this toggle turned on, um, starting next week, then you should start seeing some of the features mentioned in this video. The File Explorer, the Natural Voices in Narrator, Windows Backup, and so on. If you don't have this toggle turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available what will happen is that you will then get the only get the bug fix update um, uh, that will be part of this update you won't get the new features you'll only get the bug fixes rolling out and then as Microsoft says um, if you keep this toggle off the new features will gra be gradually rolled out to your device over time so that obviously will mean that will be rolling into october and november towards the end of the year so just a couple of things going on but nonetheless just wanted to point that out that our next um optional bug fix update kb5030310 is now in its final testing which should start bringing a couple of new features uh, to windows uh, 11 h2 and not bumping that up to version 23H2 and just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.